and fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal clouds about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, 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 pin Outrageous. Four o'clock in the morning and they're still... last. Now I'll show you how it's done. Nine. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Who's the best player around? The players landed on the horror and despair square. Some player, eh? Huh? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Roll the dice. If you roll less than 12, then you go back to the start. Severe. <laughs> I wouldn't underestimate me if I were you. <laughs> yeah. Ho, ho, ho. After passing the square of horror and despair, the player wins. Ha! Congratulations. Oh, hooray! Oh, that feeling of victory, that sensation of superiority. Easy, minuting will come on, oh, Your good luck cannot be denied. Pass me the pieces, please. Blind luck has nothing to do with it. My success is due to my branched antlers. <laughs> Baloney. This is typical antler envy from those who don't have them. What's to envy about antlers for those that don't have them? Exactly. Because we belong to the happy antler community. Right from birth, we all try to answer the question, who am I? And the only way we can do that is to contrast ourselves against the world around us. If we were completely alone, then there would simply be no I. I appears only when other also appears. We are aware of the boundaries of ourselves solely in comparison with others. Just like the we appears only when another group appears, a they, if you will. All through our conscious life, we try and align ourselves with some kind of group in order to connect with the world around us. Family, profession, hobbies, place of residence, groups can be very different. In this way, each of us can belong to several groups. For example, being a representative of a group of scientists, as well as being a member of the group of footballers, or for example, the good looking. By dividing the world around us on the principle of mine and theirs, we form an understanding of what is close to us and our tastes, habits, and goals. After all, without the feeling of my, we ourselves would feel alien to the world around us. But the owners of antlers don't have to worry, because right from birth, we belong to a very friendly and unique antlered community. Isn't that right, my kindred crown friend? For sure. <laughs> Wait a second. I also want to be in your community. Apologies, but on what grounds? I've got hooves. 
But that's not horns. That's the eh? main thing. <laughs> of course. Without horns, I mean. <laughs> How about this? Uh -huh. Huh? And now? All right. But for now, just on a probationary period, horns must be continually worked on. Yes. Great. Horns and hoofs. Horns and hoofs. Horns and hoofs. Horns and hoofs. It's not that I'm envious, but there's something to it. Self. Determination. And have you ever noticed that not everyone is fortunate enough to be the proud owner of a pair of wings? Yeah, yeah. Wings are power. Wings, wings are, are power. power. Wings, wings are power. power. Wings, wings are, are power. power. Why is it that you're the best? Seven yeah. vertebrae in the neck portion of the spine, yeah. warm-blooded, yeah. a four-chambered heart, yeah. one left arch of the aorta, yeah. aerial structure of the lungs, Teeth yeah. sitting in the jaw partition and denuclearize erythrocytes. Uh -huh. Exactly. But those feathered ones mm. can do things no horned one can ever do. What's all the noise about? Uh huh. I'm afraid the hornless wouldn't understand. And even more so, the wingless. So here we have that is the winged. Uh huh. <laughs> and these are horned. They're fighting over who's more important. Precisely. But the world, by the way, is actually run by. Soft paws. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But two is not a crew. One minute. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our third candidate. Mm. <laughs> uh. Smart, handsome, and most importantly, uh. he's got paws. Don't you people ever sleep? And why is he yours? Uh, take it easy. Now uh, take a look at those you, spines. Uh, you... Technically, that's almost uh, a horn. What are you doing? Stop uh, passing the hedgehog around. Chico, he is not a toy, but very much a bird. Exactly! Just can't uh, lie too far. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good little uh, bird. Right, get your horns and wings off our hedgehog. <laughs> Let him decide for himself that he's better off with us. <gasps> Who exactly are you with? Huh? Huh? <laughs> You're all bonkers. <laughs> Be an <laughs> eagle, huh? Low flying, huh? <laughs> to the rain. <laughs> <laughs> what weird games? I didn't understand anything. <laughs> <sighs> So release the bird from the cage. Haunt. Instinct. Trust. Huh? Broke. But you basically have horns. Are you sure you won't join us? But what for? We've got a flag! <gasps> huh? But there are even better flags! Mm. <gasps> huh? And we have already got an anthem! Bum, bum, ba -dum. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Paws don't give in, wings and horns! Each group should decide what are the good and useful qualities that will unite us. Against what bad and wrong things do we stand united? And who is alien to us? What customs and rituals unite our community? And finally, how do we protect our space from strangers? We've lost our candidate. Where could he have gone? Mm, I think he went upstairs. Geniuses. So that's why it's best to use a regular polish, because the shine on your horns lasts much longer. Ahem, aha. Isn't it time you finished up? You're not the only ones who eat here. Herming is bad. 
for the digestive system. Oh, and I suppose hogging the shower for an hour is fine? It's all the winged ones. This is a provocation. You can never trust horns. Horns are the coolest. Soft paws rule. We are the best. The problem is clear. The um flyer should be divided into three equal parts. Why do we have to divide things we were fine without it before, weren't we? Because it makes it much easier to distinguish oneself. You should at least try to join someone. You'll feel the difference straight away. Attention, attention, everybody. I should state that the wonderful idea to separate is being rudely violated by unhorned individuals. The boundaries must be set more rigidly. But what do you propose? Cutting up the spacecraft? I am not cutting. We can block the passages into the corridor and pump out the air. Then they won't pass. Really, the amount of paper wasted. Geniuses. Huh. Huh? Huh? Again. Yes. All those tribal division ideas completely failed. After all, there is one thing that binds us together. My wise old friend, do you happen to mean kindness? Collective insanity, my friend. Uh, geniuses. Uh. <laughs> Let me in, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you <laughs> 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 